April 20th, advocates continue their fight to get medical marijuana on the ballot this fall. Nebraskans for medical marijuana have until July to get the signatures needed. KETV News Watch 7's Sean McKinnon joins us live with where the effort stands as the clock winds down. Sarah, organizers only have two and a half months to get tens of thousands of signatures. They've made progress, they're halfway to their goal, but will it be enough? In order to let Nebraska voters decide on medical marijuana legalization this fall, petition organizers need to collect 87,000 signatures by July 3rd. Right now, they have 45,000. That's only half of what they need. Volunteers tried to close that gap Saturday. So not only for me, for every Nebraskan who wants access to it. Shannon Coriel's left side of her body was paralyzed after a traumatic brain injury in 2007. They had me on all sorts of medications that either didn't help at all or gave me bad side effects. So she tried high CBD, low THC medical cannabis. It was the first time I was able to actually sleep fully through the night comfortably and I have uh, some spasms in my left arm and it was able to relax my left arm like completely. Gina Emery also collected signatures. I just want it on the ballot because if I can get it on the ballot, I'm pretty sure it'll pass. There's enough people that say, yeah, you know, I don't want to prevent children that need it, you know, with seizures from getting it. But opponents of the effort say they've seen the downsides of legalization and say there's no such thing as medical marijuana. The marijuana is is a myth that's always been a myth as far as uh, medical legalization and a, a foothold for commercialization of this industry. Over the last month, organizers collected 5,000 signatures. They'll need to collect 20,000 signatures over the next month to be on pace to reach the number needed. For now, marijuana remains illegal in Nebraska, both medical and recreational. Back to you. Sean, thank you.